Alex, come, come. We have our listing that we're taking offers today. This listing is a beautiful listing on Charleston. I think you've seen the videos before. It's a three bedroom, three bathrooms, separate apartment in the basement, plus in a tub, it's located in a tub. Behind it, there's a big storage area that could be transferred to one of those apartment, uh, rental apartments that the city is encouraging people to have. We had it on the market on last Wednesday. Up until now, we've had over 120 showings. The open house was crazy with 80 people coming into it. So guys, right now, we're gonna show you what happens really behind the deal on this offer night. Our team consists of two, three people working on this deal right now. Behind the deal, you don't see it. So I have one person in the back from home. She's working. She's receiving all the offers. She's preparing it. She's going through it thoroughly through the offers and seeing what's good, what's bad about this offer and what are the pluses and minuses. I have one lady here who transcribes it for me and she tells me what goes first, what goes last. And together as a team, I'm the guy who talks and then they're the ones who manage me. We're calling the first, we have it, uh, what Claire did on the other side, she organized everything by the uh, order they were sent to us and we're calling them respectfully one after the other one and telling them what's going on with it. Okay, so the first one. Hi Amy, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm okay, going crazy. Um, yeah. Okay, so, we got your offer. You were the first one who registered, so I'm calling you first, okay? Yeah, um, yeah thank you. Thank you again for the offer. Your offer is uh, $1 million, right? June 28th closing, no deposit, vacant position, survey clause. So we don't have a survey, first of all, and your offer, to be honest with you, is right at, at the asking price. So I would need yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, significantly more in order for you to be participating in here. Okay, so we are going to, I will talk to my client of how we are going to remove the survey. Okay. If they don't have it. And uh, vacant position is okay, closing is okay, right? Closing is okay, but your your number is way behind. Uh, do you have any offer about 1.15 yet? Yes, way up. Okay, okay, okay. so nothing above uh, 1.3 yet. So I would say 1.25 around no, that. No, you're, you could be wrong right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let my clients know. Okay, let them know. Yeah, I've like, uh, I've got to call the 11 people back and let me know okay, what you think, you. okay? How much time do I have to work on it? Yeah. Look, you have half an hour, okay? Okay, I'll try to be in a half an hour. We will send an improvement and okay. I'll let you know. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you so much. Time. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Bye. You're yeah, welcome. Bye. Bye. So this one, she has an offer for, I'm asking nine ninety nine. She has her offer for $1 million, $1,000 of asking. And she has a survey clause and she, her deposit check. I don't have a check. She just has a deposit. So what could happen is that tomorrow, what if she doesn't come with the check? And I accept that if she had, let's say, $2 million and she gives it without a check, uh, my client, my sellers are in jeopardy like to lose the deal. And then I have to go call back every other people and to try to get them back to the offer. Okay, we're going to call offer number three since number two hasn't even sent it to us. Hey, how are you, Jonathan? I got your offer, your numbers. Uh, you put one million two fifty-eight. No, but you don't have a deposit check. Um, July fourth closing, vacant position. You want permit clause and assignment. Okay, so you are you are, there's you are up there, but you're not uh, you're not top. Not first. Not first. Not second. Not, not third. First. Not third. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming it's got to be one three something. Let's see what you can do. Okay. I can't say anything. I have 11 other people. If I say that it's being, I'm on, I'm on YouTube right now. So if I say it, then I'm going to get sued by somebody. Okay. Do your best. Okay, my friend. Do your best. Okay, yeah, you're close. Really okay, bye. Okay, bye. So you see, I have to tell them. I don't cheat. I tell, it doesn't be, it's not because I'm on YouTube that I'm saying I'm in YouTube. I'm not doing it, but no, no way we can tell them. We let them, it's like poker. You have to come up with your best hand forward. And if you win, you win. If you lose. Next time you learn how to study the market. That's what the attitude is going forward. Okay, we're gonna call number four. She is our best offer, okay? She has a deposit check. She has the highest number and uh, the best uh, clause. It's just that she forgot to put vacant possession, but I'm gonna talk to her and see if she wants to assume our tenant in the basement. Why is it so important to bring a deposit check? Let's say I hire, somebody gives me 1.4 and I'll take it. They go home, they get cold feet, which happens a lot. People get cold feet after they buy something. And tomorrow they don't bring me the check. 
That's it. They're out of the deal. They didn't bring me the check. It wasn't a complete deal. But when I have a check, deposit check on there, it's it's a done deal. They can't get out of the deal. It's a cash purchase. Let's go. We're calling her next offer, 416. She has the best number too. Hi, Lena, how are you? How's I don't it know, you tell me. Hey, listen, you have the best number being 416. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to tell no, me. No, no, I like phone numbers. I want the phone numbers. Oh, for price, for, for the number there, you can work on it. You, you're you so good. You have the check. Your, your offer is it's one of the top ones, okay? And uh, see if we can do better on your... I don't want you to lose. You, 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 you've been good. Um, I don't want to lose it either because I want this deal, but I don't know if he's gonna go. Do we need to? You need to. Like how, how, how much do I need to? Like <laughs> on number. Okay, on the front page of the agreement of purchase and sale, the completion date. It says upon completion, vacant possession of the property shall be given to the buyer unless otherwise provided for in this agreement. Okay, so we're fine. Okay, yeah. that I'm fine okay. with. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, see if we can do better for the price for me. But how far am I? Listen, there's uh, right now out of the offers that we have, we have one, two, three, four, five. Out of the eleven offers, I didn't, okay. two of them uh, uh, took uh, didn't send it to us. Okay, so it's nine offers. I'm sending back four of them. Are they all above mm -hmm. one three or just close to? I have uh, I have one over one three. Okay, so we're, so but we're very close, very close, put it this way. Everybody's right around the same number, but when I'm sent back, usually they, they, they come back. You know, at the end of the day, this is bad when I say it, but I say it. If you don't buy it today at whatever best price that you can buy it at, tomorrow you gotta pay minimum, minimum 2% higher. This is what I tell my clients. I go, listen, guys, I know it's tough. I know it's not because you, you're in the middle of uh, competing and stuff, it doesn't feel right, but you know, to, you buy it today, even if you win by ten, twenty thousand dollars, you didn't overpay because the next guy, the same guy that lost. It's easy for us to say, right? Yeah. But buyers don't always compute that way, right? I know, but, but that's why I'm trying to. Definitely the best buyer because he has the cash because his house is sold, right? I'm the best agent that you're going to ever deal with. I know that. I never. Have I ever let a deal ever go bad? So okay, so I know I, from your offer, I can see you have the best looking offer. Okay. Okay. Ex you have the best looking offer. Honestly, now we're just uh, this. Uh, the only Explain thing is the price. The price. How much time? Yeah, whatever. Uh, half an hour okay. is okay for you. Okay. 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 I'm just calling everybody back in the order yeah. of that they sent okay. me. You were number yeah. four. And I gotta call another few more. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye, okay. bye, bye. So this is this was my best offer. Okay, presentation was perfect. Her phone number was very nice. Everything like she's very organized. She said it. She knows that she's super organized. Very, and that's what helps on an offer to go forward. And her price. She's the most knowledgeable out of all these offers that I got. Nothing is missing out of her offer. We're trying to see if she can get me some more uh, out of her client. If she can, most probably we'll be working with her, okay? But we'll see what the other ones are, okay? Because you never know. Sometimes one person can come and go way over what they offered us at the beginning. Hey, Richard, how are you? Good, you? Good. Richard, I'm just going to be quick because I'm calling everybody back. Uh, thank you for your offer. You are you gave me 1.1 July 5th closing. You don't have a deposit check. You want vacant position. Everything's fine except the price. I have much uh, better than your, uh, the offer that you gave me. I don't know if you can call back, uh, talk to your clients, see what they can do, but you really have to sharpen that pencil. How much though, roughly? Uh, <laughs> you're behind. Yeah, but is it like a huge, like... First what's time, huge, like, what's huge, for, what's huge to you? 100,000. Huge. Okay, so you, you need at least another 100. At least. You're one least. one. Yeah, okay, so you're looking, you gotta get one, two, one, three. Something like that. Okay. Some, some like that. Okay. okay. All right. Talk I, to your clients. See if they're okay. 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 Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye.
So I don't want to give too much information to this uh, because uh, they're really far. They're one million one hundred thousand dollars. I have a one three. I don't want to waste this time with this client either. Just told him that he's far, and I can't throw numbers. It just said, "What do you think is huge? Huge is like a million, two million. So this is this is only he thought hundred thousand was huge. Let's go to the next one. These guys were very organized as well. They didn't have a check. I'll tell you now, but they went and they got a check and they sent me a check. So these are my two competition the, uh, competitors. Speaking. Hey, how are you, Dom? Good, yourself, Rosa. Good, thank you. So I'm going through the offers uh, and I got your check. Thank you. I talked to Mario. Okay. Uh, should I? Uh, is it okay to talk to you, or you want to bring Mario on the line? Hi, Reza. We have Mario with us. Hi, Mario. How are you? Wonderful, Reza. How are you? I'm fantastic. Um, okay, guys, I went through the offer. Thank you very much for the offer. Thank you for getting the check, okay? It puts you in a good position. Um, so everything's fantastic, uh, but you have no survey, okay? Just to know, my client doesn't have a survey. Yeah, since we have it on the phone, I just wanted to... Uh, tell you guys that there's no survey. So if you have to tell your client, it's, uh, we don't have it. We, we checked everywhere, we didn't have a survey. So that's that. Uh, Price-wise, uh, I'm just calling back the top four and you are uh, one of them. You have to work on that price that you gave me. There is better offers than you. What would it take to get a deal done, Reza? You know, that's the same question everybody asks me. I can't give you a number, okay? But I can tell you that you have to be north. I'm gonna respect what you're saying. Uh, you actually can give me a number. I, I would give you a number because that's me representing my seller. Yes. I don't work for agents, I work for my seller. Yes. So if, if, if I can get the highest number for my seller, yeah, I'm gonna give you the number and here's the number. But I'm gonna yeah. respect what you're saying. Yes. So what can you give me a hint as to what it would take? All I can say is that uh, my client is looking at sales out there that have been sold for over one three, okay? So one of them was one three seven six, okay? I'm not looking at that number. She's not expecting that number, okay? But she thinks, her, she went and looked at the house at the open house, okay? And she thinks her house is better. That was, was a 53 by 100. Mine is a 40 by 125 with a structure in the back that could be expanded to become a secondary apartment. That's how she's looking at it. And then there's another house that came out uh, just north of us uh, uh, for 1,479,000, but they're not holding back offers, renovated. I don't know if you've showed it to your client. Um, so these are the things my client's looking at. And the offers that I, the other offer that I have is already over 1,3. That's all I can say. I think it's, uh, it should give you a guidance, right? The other offer that you have over 1,3, is that also firm without anything? Everything, it, check everything. They're, they're as serious as you guys. And their offer is super clean and everything is clean. Like you two, I'll tell you, out of the four that I'm calling back, okay, you two have the nicest offers. The other one is not assuming the tenant, you're assuming the tenant. So, which is a plus, but how much of a plus? At the end of the day, they say it's the dollars and cents, it's the money that counts, right? Okay, how much time do we have to come back here? Um, uh, half an hour is okay. 6.30 is okay, it's like 10 to 6 now, 6.30. I can call everybody back or you can send it to me and then we can go from there. But do you think if we came at 1,325,000, we can get a deal done? I'm not sure what the other one's gonna come back. You know what I told the other lady, okay? I said, listen, sometimes you, you, you putting 25,000 is hard, an extra half of uh, 50 or 25,000, whatever. But if you lose it at that price, uh, because of that 25, 50,000, I'm telling you, you guys are very close, right? If you lose it for the 10, 15, 20,000 dollars, tomorrow you gotta pay an extra 2% on top of whatever the uh, sell price was to buy the same, same kind of house. So uh, it's not only the 10, 20 that you're saving now, it's just that you have to think, if I lose, what happens? Tomorrow you gotta pay, pay more. I lost on one yesterday, but <laughs> I was number three, I think. Third offer, okay? Out of 21 offers, I was number three and I lost. And uh, they sold it actually 60, $65,000 over my ask. It was two million. My client was recommended to put a little bit higher money, like to put the money that would have won. But they said, no, it's not worth it for them. Today, he's calling me, he goes, you know what, Raza, we should have done it. I go, okay, you know what, that's too late. It's sold, somebody else is gonna enjoy it now. So on the next one, he's gonna go more aggressive. He might even overpay on that one, but you know what, I always say, as long as you buy something and you lock it and you have it, you're winning. This is real estate, this is Canada, this is actually worldwide. 
real estate, there's nothing they're gonna lose. You just have to be out of the zone, put the emotions away and buy whatever they feel it's good for their family. One thing I have to say about this lot is that the, because of the shed in the back, I, I, I have a family in construction and I know construction, I know the city, right? Because of the new rules that the city of Toronto has right now with the shed in the back, it could easily be transferred to a double car garage and an apartment on top of it. And uh, if they want to have income property, whatever, right? So, or they, I don't know who's moving in this out of your uh, client, if it's the parents or the, uh, the kids, but it, 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 this, is, this has a lot of potential, this lot. Yeah, you're right, it does, and, and I agree with you. Uh, would you do what, what you can to help us uh, win this deal? We'll, we'll, we'll get you an improved offer. Would you do what you can to help us win this deal? <laughs> but you know, I, I would do my best. If it's you're asking me for price to give you, uh, unfortunately, it's a, it's a give me the best you can. The 25, I think, is not enough. Okay, that's the best I can tell you. I don't know what okay. what you expect. I can't give you a number because I don't know what the other uh, the other two offers are gonna three offers are gonna come back at. You know how it is. I, I just gave you the most information. You you have been eight minutes on the call. Every other call was two minutes. That has to be appreciated immensely and uh, thank you for that and mm. we'll be back to you uh, shortly okay okay thank you so much thank you thank you you're okay, okay bye guys if, the, if this video was in here <laughs> i swear to you i would have told them to give me one four <laughs> if this video no but you can't it's not fair to everybody else it's not legal it's not fair we're, I'm not a car salesman, okay? That's why everybody loves me after. And then when you do other deals with these people, they love you. When I call people, I say, it's Reza. Give me whatever you think, they'll give it to me right away. You gain confidence with people. Respect always. You respect people, they respect you back. So I cannot push them too high, okay? Yes, I can work for my client, give them a number. They can, but if you push them too high, then they'll back off. And then you lose the whole com uh, offer. Like right now, our offer number three, he pulled back. He just texted me that we're out. And he was a good offer. He had a 1275000 He was my third offer. He's pulled out. Hey, Reza. Hey, Adam, how are you? You know, the reason why it's so late, because you, you registered your offer the last one. I'm calling you the last guy. So you have the least uh, amount. Yeah. <laughs> now you have the least amount of time to get back to me. Anyway, I'm that's, kidding. That's fair. That's okay, fair. but uh, thank you for the offer. You are up, uh, I'm out of the 11 offers, uh, you are top four, okay? So I'm calling you back and uh, letting you know what's going on. Uh, you don't have a deposit check. Your offer is 1250, June 15 closing, but you're assuming my tenant, correct? Yeah, Just. We just you have to do a correction if you're sending me back if you're improving your offer there are better offers than you um you have to put on the first page front page you put uh, you're missing uh, b2 you know how there's um for the clauses for the different uh, schedules you're uh, missing and schedule, schedule b2 b2, b2. And then add b2 yeah yeah no problem so are you guys like how much are we behind roughly are you guys in north of one uh 1.3? Yes. All right. Yeah, let me see what I can do. So just switch the schedule B2 and yes. add that in and then, okay. Correct. Right. Okay. All Thank right, you, my friend. Good. All right. Take care. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Bye. Thanks. That's it. Let's see where we go. Okay, as you can see, it's nighttime. My eyes are red. Nine o'clock, and we're still fighting over a few dollars for this deal because the seller now sells that I'm not selling it because I want this so much money in my pocket. And out of the 11 offers, I have two offers left competing between each other. I mean, three offers, but two of them had a check. So the, that's the two that we're dealing with. And uh, one of them has come up. My point is right now, the price that they've come up it's, it's exactly the same and without me giving them a hint of where they should be. When they said the market speaks for itself and adjusts itself, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Right now, I have three offers, each of them are $5,000 apart. So really, and I'm getting, I'm taking the highest one who has the check and that's the one that I'm taking. Um, it's not an easy job, just to let you know, but it's, the, the fun is, cha the challenge is when you get the 11 people and you get the best, value for your client as you can see i'm tired now i have the energy that i had about three hours ago but don't forget to subscribe like and comment below tell me what you think tell me how you want me to present your house for sale